Mr. Chairman, I just got past something that the whole obstruction gimmick may just be a fundraising ploy, which demeans the overwhelming legal integrity uh, and impressive theatrical ambitions of this enterprise. I was just handed a mass fundraising email solicitation for your campaign that you sent out this evening, Mr. Chairman, stating that, quote, Biden and his advisors are terrified that I will release the recordings forcing the media and Democrats to answer for the dismal decline of Biden's mental state. This could be the final blow to Biden with swing voters across the country. The Democrats are pulling out all the stops to stop the bleeding, signed James Comer, Chairman, House Oversight Committee. Now, I must confess my disappointment to be handed this fundraising solicitation, signed by you as Chairman of the House Oversight Committee. Um, I thought that you were serious about the legal enterprise here and not just another political huckster calling hearings to score cheap political points and to make a buck. Unsurprisingly, the chairman that Congressman Jamie Raskin is calling out is James Comer, who decided to launch another wildly partisan move to hold Attorney General Merrick Garland in contempt of Congress, this time for refusing to hand over recordings of President Biden's interview with Robert Herr, who investigated Biden's mishandling of classified documents. Comer claimed it was to further his latest clown investigation into the case, but it turns out that all of it is for politics. I would like to do a spirited reading of the campaign email sent out by the chairman. And it's on lovely stationery. In fact, it says, from the desk of the oversight chairman. I'm not sure you can do that, but I'm not an ethics expert. It says, friend, President Biden is exerting executive privilege in a last-ditch attempt to stop the disastrous audio recording of his interview with special counsel from being released. And it's highlighted in yellow. I want to make sure people saw that. Just a few months ago, the White House bragged that Joe Biden had nothing to hide and would not exert executive privilege during special counsel Hur's investigation. They even said he had nothing to hide. And that's in italics. You and I know he's not up for the job, but the mainstream's media refusal to report on it as only keeping him in the game. Stand with Comer, the Democrats. You sure about that? The Democrats are pulling out all the stops to stop the bleeding. That means coming after me with everything they had. If you're able, we hope you are, I'd be so grateful if you'd consider making a donation to my campaign. I sure need it to defend against the onslaught of attacks. Thank you for everything. Moskowitz regularly used the sarcasm to condemn and expose the unserious approach to legislating that the House Republicans always engage in. But his explanation of exactly why Merrick Garland hasn't handed over actual audio and video of this buried topic makes it even worse. So they literally moved this hearing to hold Merrick Garland in contempt for what? They turned over the transcript, which is what they asked for. They turned over all the corresponding documents for what they asked for. Robert Herr, the special prosecutor, came here, testified. He said there was no interference from DOJ or Merrick Garland. And now they want an audio tape, which they know, by the way, is against DOJ policy. We're still waiting for the audio tape from Dick Cheney in the Valerie Plame case because the DOJ doesn't release audio tapes. Okay? And, and this is just a distraction from their failed impeachment of Joe Biden, which isn't going to happen. We're going from one failed investigation to another that actually served some purpose for Republicans. Because this is the investigation that led to Robert Hur concluding that Biden is an elderly man with a poor memory when he didn't recommend charges to be filed against him. And since Democrats that held their own senseless hearings to grill Hur over his conclusions that could be used to advance the GOP narrative that Biden is cognitively impaired. And Comer isn't the only one hoping for a new, distracting process. President Biden has invoked executive privilege to prevent the American people from hearing the audio recordings of his testimony with special counsel Robert Herr. The, the American people will not be able to hear why prosecutors felt the president of the United States was, in special counsel Robert Herr's words, a, quote, elderly man with a poor memory and thus shouldn't be charged. Just think about that for a moment. President Biden is apparently afraid for the citizens of this country and everyone to hear those tapes. They obviously confirm what the special counsel has found and would likely cause, I suppose, in his estimation, such alarm with the American people that the president is using all of his power to suppress their release. No mention of the standard that the DOJ has set among multiple administrations that they don't release audio tapes of investigations.
So these are just false accusations of a precedent being turned on its head. It's a new example of the rapid decline in the Republican-led House having the appetite to take on legislation that would actually benefit the American people, like every day. But luckily, there are still some Republicans that are tired of it and are willing to keep calling it out. Do you agree with Jordan and Comer on this move to hold Garland in contempt? No, I think it's a political stunt, uh, Aaron. This, this is a... Uh, the the transcript from uh, President Biden's testimony in front of special counsel, her, has been turned over. They have the material in front of them. What they're looking for is President Biden's voice so that it can be used by the Trump campaign in an election cycle. Um, th that's just unnecessary. Uh, Attorney General Garland, give him a huge amount of credit here. He took a lot of grief from the left for not redacting the report and withholding certain information uh, that he released so that the, he would be fully transparent and the American people would have all the information. And now he's getting attacked by the right for not releasing a, a, an audio or an audio tape uh, that can be used in a campaign. I, 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 he is an right. attorney general. When Garland's they release the no transcript. Situation. Right. They release the transcript. They have the information. Uh, they're just looking for something for political purposes.